No, no, bye. Hey everyone, it's me, and welcome to a new video. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make LPS necklaces. Um, so yeah, uh, all you're going to need is some beads, a lot of beads. And finally, all you're going to need is a uh, some wire. Bring in the ingredients! Oh, jeez, there's the wire. Oh no, I hope they don't spill those beads. Oh, good, they didn't. But they almost hit me. Okay, so um, first you're going to want to take some wire. Oh yeah, and you're also going to need some scissors to cut the wire. And also for something else. So you're going to cut it to the length that you like. I think this is long enough. It You need to have really bendy wire, like not like really, really hard to bend wire because this is really easy to bend. I don't even know how you call this wire, but um, yeah, this is the length that I'm using. And then you're going to want to take any colored beads of your choice and then put, well, first you're going to have to take your scissors. Well, you know, if you have really bendy wire, then you just have to, like, bend it with your fingers. But if you don't, you can use scissors. At the end of your wire, you want to make some sort of loop like that. And, yeah, then you have your um, necklace almost. And then you're going to take as many beads as possible and then start putting them on the wire until you have your very own necklace. I'm going to make a purple necklace. Okay, so I changed my mind, I'm doing blue. I keep changing my mind because I don't know, because I don't have that many beads left, so, um, I'm probably gonna do multicolored, so yeah. Um, that is a great combination. Green and purple. That's really good. Okay. Green and purple are really pretty together. And I have a lot of green, but I don't have that many purple, so that's going to be a problem. Um, I'll be back when I get all the colors. Okay, so when you get about this many, you're going to want to start putting them on the wire. If you don't have enough, you can get more. You're going to start out with the purple. Obviously, you're going to take the hole and poke the bead through. I think this is a different type of wire because I had a, a way hard harder to bend wire. But this is really good. Yeah, I might need some more beads. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Here it is so far. Um, you can do big beads. You can do tiny beads. I'm probably going to do big beads and then small beads because I don't have that many of these two colored beads. Actually, I might have enough. I might have more. Sorry I can't show you this on camera. So here's what it looks like so far. It's turning out really well. On camera, the, the green looks white or like clear, kind of. Actually, you can kind of tell. It's just that lighting outside. It's so bright right now. So sorry about that. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep going. Find some more beads. I thought I saw another purple. Okay, here's another purple. I think that'll be enough to fill the entire necklace. Um, so I will be back when I can get that other end bended. Here's the final product. If you don't want very big beads, then you don't have to use big beads. Um, but that's the final product. I'm going to put it on my test subject 
and that is how it turned out. It looks really good, and I would really recommend this because it works really well. I should film here better. There's really good lighting. If I move this, wow, that's really good. That's way better than my regular lighting. I use yellow lights, so yeah, that's why it's yellow in my videos. And yeah, that's this necklace. I hope you guys like it. And if you want me to make more, then I can. Um, if you want me to show you how to do small beads, then I'll make a video of that. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!